Good morning. Welcome to worship on, what is this, the return of spring or summer, whatever. Better than last week, right? And the furnace is kicking out heat, so great. A thank you to Kiki Cochran for serving as liturgist and Ray Ellen Vogler for serving as greeter. Our annual meeting will be held after worship and fellowship hour on Sunday, November 19th, 2023. Please plan to attend. So this is a call to the annual meeting. And today, after worship, uh, here, in, here in the sanctuary, uh, those who would like to attend an informational-only session, just information, no voting, no formal meeting, uh, informational session about the budgets uh, will be here in the sanctuary. So this will be um, just information, and then if you have questions, you can, uh, they can find the answers, uh, hopefully, if uh, we can get those questions sooner. And then our November mission of the month is the literacy program. So that's working with the Head Start program. And so donations of money clearly marked that it's for mission of the month will be gladly received. And also there'll be volunteers needed for future activities. So that'll be a watch for some information on that. And let's see, the Evening Guild will meet tomorrow, Monday, November 6th at 6.30. Please bring gently used treasures for the annual White Elephant Auction. Uh, Totenfest will be November 26th, so please remember and invite others uh, who might um, be you know, not getting the letter because we send one letter to uh, each family if we can. And the November Herald, <laughs> but it's finally run off. We've had the copier guy here th two or three times this week. We've had the computer guy here. We've had you know, a new secretary that uh, doesn't uh, know all about the Herald yet. So the plan is that the Herald will be folded by the ladies that come in and do that tomorrow. And then on Tuesday, we will figure out how to do the bulk mail and take it to the post office and hopefully have it ready to go in the mail Tuesday. We'll probably do uh, the December-January issue a little bit late, but it's a combined issue, so that's sort of nice. But with um, two days off that Thanksgiving week, that may uh, be what works out. And a reminder that this Saturday, Music of the Spheres presents Don Stratton in concert on Saturday, November 11th, 7 o'clock at First United Presbyterian Church here in Granite City. So if you want to keep that in mind. And looking at the um, schedule for this week, well, hopefully you all changed your clocks already in-person worship and Sunday school and communion and noisy offering. Those at home on Zoom uh, hopefully have their communion set up. And then um, after worship, you can pick up your nut and candy order in Fellowship Hall, and you can stay in the sanctuary to uh, have the budget informational meeting. Monday, as I said, Alnon and Evening Guild. Tuesday, Quilters Head Start will be in the nursery for an hour in Bible study. Wednesday is the regular schedule. Thursday, uh, let's see, there's council meeting. And the band will not be practicing here because they are practicing at Grace Baptist for their concert that is this Friday at Grace Baptist. That's community band concert, Friday, 7 o'clock and Altar Guild decorating on Saturday morning. I'm sure they've got a whole schedule and all organized. And next Sunday, uh, the annual reports booklets will be distributed somehow. I, I think I can get them run off pretty, pretty readily, as long as all the information has been turned in. And if it's not, then it's on, well, the booklets will be done. <laughs> And you can pass it out at annual meeting, I guess, if it's not in. Uh, Betty has an announcement. Anyone else? Dave? Well, listening to all the events we have going on at this church, 
you are far, far too busy to go Christmas shopping. So, if giving gift cards is part of your tradition, please consider ordering through the script program here at church. The cost is the same as face value, no tax, no service fee, and the church gets a rebate automatically sent to them. I will be downstairs in Fellowship Hall to answer questions. There are order forms if you want to take them home, look at them in the leisure of your own home, do your shopping there, and bring them back next week if you want the November order, or December 10th is the deadline for Christmas. Then, <laughs> my cardinal hat. We are also taking orders for the Cardinals baseball calendars for 2024 season, and um, they are $17. We are cutting that deadline order off next Sunday as well so that we can get the Cardinal order into the Cardinals and um, get the delivery hopefully the first week of December for, again, nice Christmas presents. If you are interested in taking a chance on the raffle basket, it is downstairs in Fellowship Hall for you to take a good look at it. In addition to the baseball items that we have, we have $40 of gift certificates to Ravenelli's. So even if you're not a sports fan and you win, you can go out to eat and just give the rest of the stuff away to somebody else. Um, we appreciate everybody who's already ordered. And uh, please come down and talk to me. Take a look. Again, next Sunday's the deadline for that, too. Thank you. My turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have our meat sale going on. Um, if you haven't bought meat, I still have like 16 packages of sausages. I have uh, five packages of bacon. I have uh, a couple other odds and ends, a bulk sausage, and I think I have another um, smoked sausage and maybe even a, por a pork steak. Also, I, uh, Mike had yesterday packages, um, extra packages of cooked bratwurst, and I told him I would sell those down there at the same time, and those are only $2 a package, not a great deal. Now, lastly, Karen Smart asked me to thank all of, the, of us who um, helped sponsor her in the walk to end Alzheimer's. That took place last weekend. It was a cold and windy day, but it was for a great cause. She says our team was able to raise $1,500. That's fantastic, guys. Yes. Thank you all for all your big support. That's all. Mike. You just have a couple more months of me. No. <laughs> anyway. Just thanks to everyone that helped set up yesterday, that did the cooking, did everything to make the fair work and what have you. So thank you, volunteers. I greatly appreciate it to everyone. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yes, and thanks to Mike and everybody that coordinated. Are there any other announcements? Well, then let us greet one another with a wave and sing a new version of Majesty. Stand and we will sing.
Is it? Let's see if I took, yes, I, they did. I turned up my con. We're all good to go. Well, Alar and I are here to bless, to be a blessing. You know, when we're a blessing to somebody, what do you say when somebody sneezes? Bless you. Do we mean it? Well, sometimes we're just sort of, but it, most of the time we really mean it. Bless you. Because in the old times, a sneeze might be the sign of something really bad, and we prayed a blessing that it wouldn't be something really bad, and that people would get better. Or that, you know, they just smelled a pretty flower they were allergic to, and ka -choo. So, bless you. Beloved, we are God's children now, and what we will be has not yet been revealed. We are blessed by God, and we are blessed to be blessings to others. So as children of God, as children of God, that's what we do. We share God's love. We share God's love with everybody. And um, in one level of this, as you grow, you can be more and more blessing, more and more a blessing for others. In another level of this, when we grow uh, when the time comes for us to join the communion of saints in heaven, that's another time that we remember how those who have gone before us have blessed our lives and given us the example to follow, that we might also be a blessing to others. So today we're focusing a bit on the blessings that others have been for us and also on the blessings that we can be to others when we use our voice well to share God's love. So I hope you will all remember that, that from the youngest to the oldest, we can all share God's love and be a blessing. Could you fold your hands for a prayer? Dear God, we thank you that you bless us this day, that you call all of us your children, and that you ask us to be blessings to others. Send us forth in this next week, next year in all of our lives to be blessed for blessing in Jesus name amen and our prelude let's see they're staying in because they're doing noisy offering during the first hymn so I remember it. first hymn noisy offering so the prelude is a traditional great is thy faithfulness it's it's a great hymn for everyone to remember and Hum all week. Let us join in the responsive call to worship and prayer. Bless the Lord at all times. Praise God's holy name. Magnify the Lord with hearts full of devotion. Sing of God's glory with tongues full of song. Seek the Lord of love. We will worship the living God. Let us pray. God of mercy and grace, shower us with your loving kindness. Fashion us into the saints you call us to be. Love us abundantly, that others may see your kindness and joy reflected in our lives. Bless us with your abiding presence, 
that we may shine as saints of your holy love. Amen. I've asked Dave to play the melody once for this song. It's one that we have sung a few times, but I looked in the uh, hymnal before this, the red hymnal, and you all must have really liked it because you sang it many, 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 many times from the red hymnal. So it's one you should recognize, and while uh, we're singing this, the children will be collecting the noisy offering. of yearning is based on Matthew chapter 5 verses well 1 through 12 and more we yearn to be counted among the saints of old but the journey is long and difficult we long to love others as we should even when they revile and hate us we seek to forgive those who wrong us even when it means swallowing our pride we strive for the openness of spirit to pray for those who persecute us. Even when we want to hold on to our wounds. God of eternity, guide us on this journey of discipleship. That we may grow as your children and live as saints of your love. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Our scripture reads is from 1 John chapter 3, 1 through 3, and verses 18 through 24. See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this, when he is revealed... We will be like him, for we will see him as he is. And all who have hope, this, 
and all who have this hope in him purify themselves just as he is pure. Little children, let us love not in word or speech, but in deed and truth. And by this we will know that we are from the truth and will reassure our hearts before him whenever our hearts condemn us. For God is greater than our hearts, and he knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have boldness before God, and we receive, him, receive from him whatever we ask, because we obey his commandments and do what pleases him. And this is his commandment, that we should believe in the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another just as he has commanded us. All who obey his commandments abide in him, and he abides in them. And by this we know that he abides in us, by the spirit that he has given us. Our gospel lesson is from Matthew chapter 5, verses 1 through 12. Listen for the good news of the gospel. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him, and he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. 
Thanks be to God for this lesson. May the Holy Spirit inspire the presentation and hearing of this reflection that we might learn to love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, strength, and mind, and our neighbors as ourselves. Amen. All Saints Day was Wednesday this past week, so we are a few days late in celebrating it. However, we are not limited to one day for remembering and honoring the saints who have influenced our lives. Saints from those better known, better named of history like St. John and St. Peter. Through those personally named by us like my grandpa Alfred, on this day we remember the positive examples they have set and give thanks for their lives among us. Perhaps some we personally name as saints would blush and downplay their sainthood. And some might humbly accept praise, but return it to praise us for living well as new generations of saints. I am fairly certain, though, that the saints of the world and personal history all did their very best to love others to love not in word or speech, but in deed and truth. As our epistle lesson says, Jesus, who commanded his followers to love one another as he loved them, continues to make that command for saints past and present. He continues to call for and bless actions that show love in every way possible actions that include words as they show love in every way possible. The Beatitudes recorded in Matthew's Gospel offer blessing to those who faithfully share God's love for themselves and others. Jesus gave them as a blessing for his closest followers, but through the ages they have been a blessing for all the saints and followers, as well as an inspiration for powerful faith in all times. We often hear them as comfort at funeral and memorial services, which they are, but they also offer courage to meet the challenges of life, to be merciful, pure in heart, peacemakers, and strong in the face of persecution. The Beatitudes encourage us they encourage us to use our trust in God and God's gifts of love to be righteous and to do right in and for the world. I have found a children's book that teaches all ages, and as our epistle lesson said, we are all called children of God, teaches all ages to use our voices well throughout life. This book is My Voice is a Trumpet by the country music artist Jimmy Allen. And now Dave and I will share it with you in this form. Some people, that is, have a voice as tall as a tree loud and proud and swaying in the breeze. Yes. But some have a voice as small as a bee, soft and sweet like kisses of honey. Some have a voice that's patient, and wise, with lessons of life told through sparkling eyes. <laughs> I'll get you. <laughs> Some have a voice, sunny and bright, a voice that can echo and light up the night. There's a voice that is silent, but still can be heard, 
with hands that speak every word. Then there's the voice that roars like a lion, a big voice that tells you, always keep trying. We all have voices, voices to hear. My voice, your voice, is a trumpet strong and clear. My voice will be loud when I'm not sure I know, to wonder, to learn, and to ask as I go. I will learn to speak up, to show I am strong, to stand for what's right, and to know what feels wrong. My voice is a rainbow after the storm, loving, comforting, safe, and warm. I'll use my voice to find joy in others, reminding us all we're sisters and brothers. I'll say no to hate by using this voice and always choose love, a magical choice. For voices are powerful and together they're strong, like the musical notes of a beautiful song. Now how will you use your voice? Yes. How will you use your voice? We all have the voice of God's righteous love to share in many ways, just as the saints before us use their voices. May we be God's saints to the lives we touch now and forever. Amen.
You may be seated. As we begin our time of prayer, we lift prayers for Erin Kuniak. Uh, we have been prayers for a liver transplant. She received her new liver yesterday and is in intensive care unit, but uh, received it. And now we pray for a wonderful recovery, and we pray for the family of the one from which that liver came. Um, also, uh, Carol Relicky, uh broke her femur and is at home. And pardon, that, that, where's, yeah, there you are. Yes, that's right. That's what I, okay. And she is at home. We'll have to see a surgeon at some point tomorrow. Um, we request prayers. Uh, Lou Hassey requests prayers for their daughter, Melissa Affalter. Uh, Melissa, as you know, had a silent stroke a, a bit back, and now they say um, cardiac issues that will require a procedure once tests are done in the coming weeks. And they also have a joy, the uh, premature baby of the nephew, uh, the great nephew, I guess, it, whatever. Yeah, the baby would be. Anyway, the baby was born a month ago, away, and it was only one pound. And in the last month, it is, has, she has gained a pound, and she is up to two pounds, and, you know, doing mighty. Just doing for, I, I can't even envision. I know what my cat weighed when I got it. I can't even envision. But prayers of joy that she continues to be strengthened and grow. And then um, in our prayers, Bob Braunmeier is in Anderson Hospital. Um, he has to get some medicine readjusted and, and get some new medicine. So he is in Anderson Hospital. And then in nursing assisted and independent, Marsha Binger is still at Eden. Ruth Buer, Myra Cook, uh, she is at um, River Crossing. Hilda Few, Bonnie Forniszewski. She was supposed to go back to her apartment on uh, Tuesday, so hopefully she did. Uh, Joanne King, Karen Ludicky, and Marjorie Schmidt. And at home, Chloe F. Alter, Karen Anders, Isabella Boyer, Mary Franz, Luke Gard Fries, Melba Grady, Chuck Hassey, Lou Hassey, Barbara Houston, uh, Chuck King. Now, Chuck is at home. He is uh, released from the hospital. He is at home. Uh, he's really not doing very well. So we really lift him and his family in prayers and uh, pray for Chuck in this very difficult time. Uh, Mina McBrien, Cindy Meyer, Sandy Mueller, Cliff Robertson, Dee Rademeyer, uh, she is at Bob and Nancy Jacobs' home because she fell last Sunday at the end of Trunk or Treat and broke her hip, had surgery on Monday, and then Wednesday went to uh, Bob and Nancy's home to help her in recovery. Uh, June Stilley, Jim Watson. Jim Watson had a full hip replacement Friday morning and went home Friday evening. So he is at home recovering from a full hip replacement. Uh, Janice Weeks and Nancy Wilson. And then in the Illinois South Conference, Johannesburg, St. John UCC, Reverend William Grenert. Lebanon, St. Paul UCC, Reverend Todd and Shana Johnson Bean. Uh, interim pastor, at, the, or, well, Todd is the interim pastor at Lebanon and retired pastor Reverend Carol and David Shanks. And they were of major help to St. Peter in their transition time. And so uh, they are remembered in our calendar of various people in the Illinois South Conference. Additional concerns and celebrations. Janice? Uh, so a longtime best friend for Janice is having a pacemaker on Tuesday. Let's see. Chuck, you just got one of them, didn't you? Same day and we're home and, and just uh, beaten away. <laughs> so hopefully it'll be that way.
So prayers that they get, that she be able, Janice be able to get into the neurosurgeon. She's been waiting over six months to get in to see. Anyone else? Justin? Okay, well, we pray for all the sports teams and for uh, whoever we're, you're supporting. We pray that it be a, a good game and a good, a good win for the best team to win. And uh, we continue. Let's see. Does Greg go ahead? <laughs> ah, wrong sport. But uh, does, I don't know if Greg has a Kansas City shirt on. <laughs> no. It's Chiefs anyway. So... <laughs> Um, but Missouri, I mean, I know they lost, but whoa, what a game that was, I hear. University of Missouri. Anybody else? Then let us be in a spirit of prayer. Following the five-finger prayer model on the back of today's bulletin, we pray. Loving God, we pray for those closest to us in life for our families of all shapes and sizes, for friends old and new who bless our lives. We pray for those who have been or continue to be, who serve as mentors and inspiration to us in life, showing and shaping us to live with righteousness and your love for all. We pray for the leaders of communities and nations, of organizations and agencies, of industry and education, who seek peace and respect, health and opportunity for all your children everywhere. We pray for those with special needs for blessing, for those who mourn and those who approach death, for those receiving medical care and recovery, for those needing mercy and the basic necessities of life many of us callously take for granted. We pray for ourselves and our efforts to be faithful disciples in all the parts and places of our lives. Forgive us when we keep silent when we should speak, and when we speak when we should listen for your voice playing over ours. Encourage and inspire us to follow the examples of the saints and to promote your love for peoples and creation in all that we do, individually and together. Receive our prayers and bless us as we live and serve. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>
And now as we give our gifts, we give a blessing, a blessing to the church, to the work we do together as this church, a blessing to those who are receiving our ministries, a blessing that shares God's love in every way. join me in the unison prayer of dedication. Gracious one, you offer us the bread of life and the living water of Christ. We come before you to offer our hearts and the riches we have received from your hand. Bless these gifts that they may bring the Spirit's comfort to those whose eyes are wet with tears. In Christ's holy name we pray. Amen. Let us join in the responsive invitation. All who hunger for love come to the bread of life. Here, Lord. All who thirst for the cup of blessing come to the table of grace. Here, Lord. All who need mercy and grace come to the Lamb of God. Here, Lord. Let us pray. We give thanks and praise to you, O Lord, God of Abraham and Sarah, Miriam and Moses, Joshua, Deborah, Ruth, David, priests and prophets, Mary, Joseph, James and John, Peter and Paul, apostles and martyrs, and ordinary unknown saints. You are the God of our mothers and fathers and our children to all generations. You, everlasting one, made us all. You fashion us into one people, 
and continue to love us even when we deny our godly heritage. You call us home to you through the ministries of saints dedicated to your will. You bless us with gifts, and most especially with your Son, Jesus Christ, who lived in accord with your will to the point of laying down his life for the good news he preached and passed on to us. And now, O Spirit of the living God, bless these elements of grain from the fields and fruit from the vineyards, and make us one as we partake, remembering that Jesus blesses us so we may be in communion with you and one another. Keep your church one in service to the world here and now. Speak your peace in the world that your will be done. Work with us to be your voice, that we may participate with the saints in making your kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. All glory and honor and praise are yours, now and forevermore. Amen. For on the night in which he was betrayed, Jesus took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, telling them to take and eat, for in this bread is his body broken for them and for us. And in the same manner after the meal, Jesus took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he poured it out and gave it to his disciples, telling them to take and drink, for in this cup is the new covenant of his blood, shed for the forgiveness of sins of all. As often as we do this, we do this in remembrance of him. The gifts of God for the people of God. May the service come. Covenant, this is forgiveness, simple and true. This is the way that I have made for you. Before you eat, before you drink, take a long look inside. Tell me what you see. He said, body of Christ broken for you.
of life broken for you. This is the cup that holds the wine of a new covenant. This is the love of Christ poured out for you. This is the Son of God who died. Take and drink the blood of Christ shed for the forgiveness of sins of all. Please stand for the unison prayer of thanksgiving. Let us pray. We give thanks, thanks. Almighty God that you have refreshed us at your table by granting us the presence of Jesus Christ. Strengthen our faith, increase our love for one another, and send us forth into the world of courage and peace, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit through Jesus Christ, our Savior.
we're gathered together here as saints in waiting, as the communion of saints that joins with us as we give honor and praise to God and go out to serve. In the name of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Thank you. 